Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to all of you in my new lecture. Today we are going to be start lecture number 32. In this lecture we will try to discuss about the material verification CMTR or MTC review. CMTR means certified mill test report or MTC. MTC means mill test certificate review. Some people are saying CMTR, some people are uh, we are calling MTC. So whatever you call both, thi both things are same. So during MTC review, military certificate review, we have to check uh, some points, whatever must included in the MTC. So these are the things I will uh, try to show you one by one and I try to explain to you shortly. So I hope you will watch this lecture from starting to end. And I will request to all of uh, all of you, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel to get the all update lecture. And don't forget to share with your friends. Let's start today lecture. CMTR or MTC review. So checking point. Checking point means whatever things we have to check in MTC. So when we are going to be start the MTC review these basic things must we have to check this all the information available not available or not in MTC so number one is the certification type or type of certification that material hit number so we have to check in MTC there is material hit number available or not then material grade we have to check material grade is available or not then product specification so in MTC must have the product specification then material dimension so what is the dimension of the material these are the things we have to check in MTC <coughs> then mechanical properties chemical analysis heat treatment certified mill signature so these are the basic things we have to check in MTC if any uh, point is missing is the uh, missing in MTC so we can say this is the not complete MTC so now I will uh, try to discuss about the one by one point shortly so what is the certification type so there have the uh, type 2.1 2.2 apply for non specific inspection so type 2.1 2.2 this certificate this uh, manufacturer they can uh, provide they are actually don't have any specific inspection category what type of inspection is required then type 3.1 3.2 this is apply for specific inspection so if material is the 3.1 certification type or 3.2 they are have the some specific inspection category so in this lecture I will uh, try to discuss about the 3.1 and 3.2 material uh, this point so what is the 3.1 material <coughs> if we can uh, if we say the shortly then we can say material certificate is endorsed or signature only the manufacturer so 3.1 means this certificate only endorsed by the uh, manufacturer but own, rep uh, own representative who has to independent from the manufacturing process that means one manufacturing company they are manufacturing uh, manufacturing the material so that own company they are certifying this uh, material but they are have the independent quality team or quality representative whoever is not uh, uh, involved the manufacturing process that means nobody are forcing them to for, uh, for certified certification so if the manufacturing company they have the own uh, own quality department and they are checking the everything and they are keeping the traceability and they are the satisfied and they are endorsing the certificate that is called the 3.1 material material certification or 3.1 material type then the 3.2 so for 3.2 have the additional criteria that criteria is material certificate has been additionally countersigned by an independent inspection authority or the purchaser authorized inspection representative who can confirm that 
the testing and inspection process demand by the specification have been adhered to correctly so that means if we want to get the 3.2 certification for material that material must be certified by third party that means manufacturing manufacturer they are manufacturing the uh, plate or material but third party independent inspection authority they are inspect inspecting otherwise whoever purchase this material they are sending the one authorized inspection representative that people are inspecting and they are confirming this material confirm the testing and inspection process demand so they are signing the certificate so that is called the 3.2 certification when i show you a physical certificate uh, review that time i will show the what is where is the writing 3.1 and 3.2 i hope this point all every people are clear so we move forward is the next point then material heat number this is the another most important for the military certificate in certificate must mention the heat number <coughs> material manufacturer can identify raw material in different way so material manufacturer maybe they identify this number is a different way how they identify the using lot maybe on lot on heat number coil or other identifying method numbers but ultimately all cmtrs will identify the material with the heat number the heat number is used to maintain traceability of the material when matching a cmtr to its raw material all accompanying paperwork and in many cases marking on the raw material itself must match the heat number on the cmtr certified mill district so <coughs> heat number actually basically this number used for the traceability record so this is the most important things for mill test certificate then the material grade so in military certificate must mention the material grade so material metal materials are produced in various grade the cmt identify the grade of the material so what type of grade this must mention in the cmt then the product specification so in the cmt or mtc must mention the product specification what type of product and what is the specification must mention so cmtr certifying the raw material meets the appropriate standard so which standard follow that one must mention in the cmtr the product specification that the raw material meets are listed on the cmtr another thing is the material dimension so in cmtr or mtc must mention the material dimension what is the dimension is the material so the cmtr identifies the applicable dimension of raw material <coughs> in the case of plate material this would be the thickness so if the plate material then there is the mass mandatory is the thickness must mention length breadth this is the not mandatory maybe it can be short or long but thickness must mention and for a subsidiary must mention the width and uh, length also round bar the diameter so if the round bar then must mention the diameter it flat bar then mention the thickness and width this information must match the order requirements if the pipe material then we have to mention the diameter and thickness also thickness or schedule <coughs> then another thing is the mechanical properties and chemical analysis so in on cmtr certified mill test report must mention the mechanical properties what is the mechanical properties and what is the chemical analysis and these mechanical properties and chemical analysis must mention the code under which code they are uh, testing this what is the code requirement and what is the test result found so there is the what is the specified value that means what is the code requirement and what is the test result that means observation what is the observation must need to mention so the product specification list the detailed requirement that the raw material the raw material must meet to be the certified to the product specification and grade the actual measured properties of the raw material are recorded on the cmtr for the identified heat number 
these properties typically consist of the mechanical properties and chemical analysis. The values listed on the CMTR must fall within the range or limit of the product specification for the raw material to be accepted for use. So next thing is heat treatment. So during material <coughs> manufacturing they are using the heat treatment what type of heat treatment is used that things also the mention in the material MTC mill test certificate. So depending on the raw material there may be other requirements in the product specification for example 300 series stainless steel require a specific heat treatment which must be recorded on the CMTR. The reviewer must identify all special process in the product specification and confirm they are properly recorded on the CMTR. So heat treatment also mentioned the in MTC military certificate. So last thing is the certified mill signature. So everything is complete testing uh, chemical mechanical uh, testing uh, testing is everything is complete then this should have the certified by some people so this is the certified mill signature finally the cmtr must be certified with the signature of a responsible employee of the foundry or mill producing the raw material certified mill test report provide a record of stressibility and properties of a raw material ensuring that the material will perform in the way it was designed to deviation from product specification value can be large consequence even causing, uh, causing a component failure so basically this is the things uh, we have to check in the mtc so when are going to be uh, review the mtc before material verification uh, one side inspection we are receiving the military certificate and when we receive the military certificate we have must check this the point this all the things is available not in MTC if is not available then we have to uh, check is properly this is the certificate is genuine certificate or this is the make by some people uh, duplicate certificate so these the things we can understand what is the uh, certificate Certif uh, certificate is original or duplicate so regarding the certificate original or duplicate these the things uh, we uh, if you need to know then uh, we can uh, make the another lecture uh, regarding this uh, certification the originality check check so i hope all people are understand uh, whatever i try to discuss in this lecture if any people is any doubt or uh, due to short uh, briefing if i miss out any important information uh, please let me know in comment section maybe after your feedback i can make the another uh, another uh, good lecture for you so in my next lecture i will show you the one physical uh, certificate how look like is the certificate and this all the points where is the version one by one i try to explain to you so i hope you watch this uh, video from starting to end so i will request to all of you uh, again please uh, don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share uh, my lecture with your friends and don't forget to give your feedback so any questions you can ask me uh, thanks to all uh, for watching the lecture so see you soon in my new lecture assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi